Good morning, Year 9, and welcome back to our Band Lab lesson. And just to remind you, this is the second lesson of our Afrobeat uh, loop sample task. So uh, I've opened up already my project. I'm going to press play just to remind myself what that sounds like. the gist um so um first things first i realized that these are lots of ideas which really work but it's not quite a standard intro into a chorus so i've decided that we're going to have our chorus start from bar 17 and end on bar 20 or beginning just before bar 25 so what that means if i zoom in Let me make sure that's correct. So if I zoom in, it only is eight bars long. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We want to make sure, and I'll zoom out again, that our chorus falls between these lines. But you'll notice that right now I have a random section here because I dragged it in a stacking form in the first lesson. So I need to now figure out how I'm going to make this chorusy and stand out. So every time it hits this part, it's one the same and that it stands out. The first thing that I need you to remember is these few things about a chorus. A chorus is the most important part of the song. It should be catchy, so you can't get out of your head. It should contain the main vocal melody or tune. It should be the part that people want to sing or hum. And it should be the part that people want to remember. Now, um, a song that stands to mind for me that is a very good example of that, it is an older song. Um, and it is another Rihanna song, actually. Um, but it is um, Rihanna's song, Umbrella. It is very catchy. And it's the part that most people sing along to. So if you go, under my umbrella, hella, hella, eh, eh, eh. Things like A's, uh, la, la, la. And yeah, in choruses, tend to be really, really, really catchy. Okay, so it's pretty self-explanatory what a chorus is. The first thing that we need to do is to make sure our chorus section here is all set out and laid out as a chorus should be. So if I take it off of loop, I've literally highlighted that, and that it means it loops just this section. So every time it goes straight back to the beginning part of this section. So I'm going to click off this loop. I want to see how the, st the start comes in. I think I'm going to get rid of this because I don't think that works just before the chorus. I feel, feel like I need to keep it a bit simple. So I'm going to just click this and delete. So let's go back to 9. Like here there needs to be some sort of you know a sound effect like 
to let people kind of know clearer that it is the chorus. So what we're going to do to find notes, we're going to go to where it's at the loop section. You'll usually see your loop pack that automatically opens up. It's got a range of loops from K-pop to grunge, Bollywood. So these are things that you can come back and do in your own time. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to go to all loops. We're going to go straight to instruments. We're going to go to where it says FX. And we're going to see what effects there are. That sounds very Chris Brown. So we're going to use that. Something like this, but I kind of want it a bit more fizzing. Not as spacey. Let's hear this one. Kind of works. I think this one is probably the one I might be looking for, but let's see. No, I think I'm going to use four. Now, it's important to remember that it needs to be dragged on its own part nine. Now, I know that I want it to start just before we get bar 17 where our chorus is going to begin and I kind of want it roughly here as I know where that coincides with everything else and all the sounds so what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this track here as it's now not for a sound of anything and I'm going to keep my cursor here remember you have to drag to the available space so it was two step fx4 I drag here And then I'm going to take this here, let's close this, and I'm going to pull this above so it's in the right place. So, and I want it to come kind of just before. So let's see. If you notice on the actual sound part itself, on the sound file, can you see here? Each different sound file, even in loops, they have what it looks like, how it's visually represented. So we know the sound kind of increases and gets bigger. But you notice that there's a bit of an ending part. So I want to make sure that the highest part of the sound lines up with where it ends. So maybe roughly that should be okay. Let's have a hit listen. From 9 we'll start it. really really well it makes the chorus stand out more it makes it more clear that it's a chorus so that is something to really have it would be nice to have all these other sections but i think this works better towards the end or final chorus that we have so our chorus at the moment is this accordion part with our drums okay so what i'm gonna do is i want to cut and slice each different piece now in the microsoft teams chat you will see or in the files you'll see where it has this project our afrobeat project and you will see where it's got a lot a load of shortcuts on how you can cut things using this so if you just press s you should be able to cut a sample failing that remember i tell you to go file edit and slice up playhead if you want to I'm going to cut each different one. I click where I want and I press S. Same here. Ooh, let's go back. Click on this one. Brilliant. So, the reason why I'm doing this is I know that this section here is my chorus. And I want this section here from 25 to go back to a verse section. Okay? So, it means that I'm going to take every single one, one of these. And I'm going to drag them for now and just leave it at 53. Okay? So now I have my intro kind of section, verse section, into the chorus section. And I want to go back to a verse section. Okay? So first thing I need to do is I want to copy this sound again. 
because that makes it synonymous with the word. I'm going to put it here and I'm going to paste it. This section can kind of just continue as it's in both parts. And it would be good to make this second verse a bit more interesting. So we want to add some other type of sound. So if I, I think the Afrobeat xylophone was a pretty good sound. So I'm going to go into my loop section. <coughs> and we're going to go to the loop pack, find the Afrobeat loop pack. There it is. And I'll come off FX. What is it called? It's called Afro Xylophone. So we're going to find it. And what number is it? Xylophone 9. Afro Beat Xylophone. So it should be right at the bottom. Yep, there it is. 9. Now remembering, we have to drag it into a new one. And then again, I'm going to move it further up. So I kind of know where it is. Let's just put this one out here. And I'm going to put, it's going to be Afrobeat Xylophone. And I'm going to literally write here. Oh, I can. For verse 2. That way I know which part it's for. Okay. So if we go back. That is way further back, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull it in the right place, which is here. So maybe for the first section, it plays a bar and then this comes in. Let's see what that sounds like. I think we need our drums to continue as well. Because we don't want it to go back down completely as quiet as it, quiet as it was Sorry, for our second verse. That's, the drums have already come in. So we're going to go to where the Afrobeat drums are. Let's see what drums we could add for the verses. So we don't want it to be as big as Afrobeat drum 16. But we want, it, we want some sort of percussion or drums. And it's near this one. And I'm going to call this verse drums. Okay, so I know it's the drums that happen in the verse section. So I'm literally going to pull this across. Yeah. Um, this here, I'm going to label chorus drums as well. too full on for it so let's and then I think it'd be good to have like a little another copy of this xylophone sound so I'm going to copy it, and then I'm going to paste it. Brilliant. So now we have our verse, our chorus, and I feel like it should go back to the chorus after this. That's what I want you to do for this lesson. 
So you're going to have your intro verse section, a little effect spec that brings you into your chorus. Then you need to bring back in your second verse. So it has the same elements. I want you to add two other elements to your verse section. You could add one percussion element and one other element. 